Hey Ben, do you want to watch some trash? Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That'd be great. Hey, I'm glad you were here. You you weren't here last week. Yeah, I just, you, weren't, you weren't here uh, for that 22 uh, minute episode called Day. I know it says 35, but that seems like well, too long for what it was. <laughs> well, it, Star Wars episode runtimes also include like the intro. Uh, the previously on and the end credits and end credits are like so, five sometimes minutes. Sometimes the end credits up. can be a few minutes. Right. When I'm editing these things, I I can stop like doing the crazy cutaways and stuff because like once the credits are rolling, it's usually it's, brief. It's, right. Than, um. But so uh, the day you say the uh, best okay. episode of Star Wars ever, you texted me that night. Uh, and you said I, watched I loved it. it. And one of the first things I had a question of was why is it called day? <laughs> and I was so confused because there was like, okay, well, look, see the sun. At one, at one point, a character said we have three <laughs> hours of daylight left, and I was like, is that why? Call oh, it <laughs> dusk then. Yeah, I love how it's called. It's called day, and the only reason it's called day is because it takes place during the day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you no, know, the, the reason why is apparently the next this episode that we're about to watch is called night. And they want to do the opposite thing. But so, all right. This so, four is, or five, day, night. Uh, since got I it. had obligations of real life activities, I couldn't be here for your previous week. I'm I would sorry. like to. I would have liked to see your reaction to seeing dark, I, dark, teeth, <laughs> yeah. dark teeth fly down into the. So, watching day, uh, I got to watch it like Friday morning before going to work, <laughs> and it ruined my day. What a giant pile of. Uh, shit. Every moment of my entire day at work was made better because I watched day before it. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> I, how did you feel about the cartoon beaver? Alright. So let's Basil, like, I just wanna oregano. Break, I just wanna break down like a few things. Firstly, time is not a thing in Star Wars at all anymore. Yeah, yeah. That's a, that's been established for it's, quite some time. It it's yeah. It, that happened in Mando season three when like right. time just stopped mattering. <clears throat> I, I I think they just took like a playbook out of Game of Thrones like last couple of seasons. It's yeah, like, yep, say, you're there. Time actually matters in House of Dragon now, so that's <laughs> that's sort of neat. <laughs> right. It's sort of neat when time is a is a thing. Um, you know, it is weird. <laughs> I I feel bad saying it, but like it's weird watching this, and then like Sunday night watching House of Dragon. Oh, live. it's such a contrast. <laughs> right. Like the quality is so different. Like the, the when Otto gets like. In the sense of uh, who I, he becomes. I have a question. Because this is a question I was wondering when I was watching episode four. When when May <laughs> and... Who's Poison Guy? Kimur? Kimur. Kimur? Kimur. Yeah, something like that. When key, they key, land yeah. and they mention, like, oh, we only have a few hours of light left, so we better hurry. Do they know exactly where Kaunaka is, or are they just combing the jungle? So Kimur makes a... Or Kimur, or whatever, makes a comment that he has already found Kanaka's hut. I think that, that that brief scene that we get at the end of episode two where, like, Kaunaka, like, breaks, like, the blaster. So when is, he's just sleeping in his apothecary hut, at that point he already knows where see, and here's, here's Kaunaka gonna, is? So here's going to go what we're going to get into in episode <laughs> eight. No. So we've talked about this off camera, but, like, this is where it's going to get stupider when we get to episode eight. Because we're fully in the camp that uh, Ibrak, Darth Maul, Master Curl, she is the Sith. I called that the second I right. saw her in episode three. So Kamir, Cut the footage. So Kamir is a red herring. Yeah, Kamir is definitely a red herring. So Absolutely. Yeah, Kamir is definitely a red herring. So Absolutely. That he does, his name might as well be Red Herring <laughs> right. like from Scooby Doo. But then, the, like everything he does, actually dumbs down the plot. What's well, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because then, if he's not the Sith, why, why is he? Why is the Master having somebody incompetent working for well, him? Well, that's what I'm saying. So, like, if he's not the Sith, then he's just some idiot who was asleep in his apothecary. He was some idiot who somehow found Kanaka. He's some <laughs> idiot who, like, walked into a Bugs Bunny, like, loop in the ground and went up into the thing. I don't if, even know how she got that trap set up when they were together the entire time. Right. But If he is a Sith, then it is, like, a set plan, but then it's so obvious that it's, like, at the but end if, of it, it's going to become, like, he, a... If he was the Sith, and he got himself 
like literally pincered by three Jedi in Episode Two. Right. And he was just happened to be lucky enough that none of them decided to mind read him. <laughs> Even though it's established I, that they have no I guess no he would have been able to block it because he's a Sith. But, like, the only thing I will say going into this episode is I'm, like, looking forward to, like, basically... I'm going to bet, like, nine-tenths of this episode is, like, a lightsaber fight. Uh, it's, gonna, it's definitely going to open with a lightsaber fight. Right. I don't know if... Wait, okay. Oh, oh my God. This episode is going to be as long as the other one. It's only 35 minutes. They're the exact same. Yeah. And that episode felt really short. I know it's a, it says 35 minutes, but the episode itself is going to be, like, 28 mm-hmm. minutes or whatever. Well, the so. weird thing about the last episode was it felt short but long. Um, it wh- felt long because it was boring. Wh- yeah, because there's a lot of just walking through the woods. Uh, and not even like like Lord of the Rings style. Like, I'm, this I'm ex- is cool walking. I'm expecting some payoff with the, with the swarm of moths. I don't know. If they're going to distract Smilo and get away. Saul's gonna go away probably with Yord. The, all those, all those right. non-name, all right. those Jedi's without name tags, they're fucking dead. So let's just let's just call it right now. Wait, wait, wait. wait. wait let's just call it right okay. now. Smilo Ren lives because you don't. Yeah, yeah Obviously, yeah. He, he can't or she can't die in episode he or she, five. Here, here, he or they. Right. <laughs> they, oh, they can't. Too soon. Uh, May and Osha have to live, right? Like. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah, they're they're around till eight episodes. Soul has to live. I would think Saul at the very. I, I can see Saul dying, but I think he's gonna stick around till the end. Yeah. Uh, Yord, Yord. I actually would like to see Yord live through it. Yeah. Um, sure. and maybe he grows as a character then. I think we said that in the beginning. I was like, Yord might work as like this sort of stern new, it, newbie it, cop guy, but he going back to like Game of Thrones, like the way Sansa grows maybe through he, the show. Maybe he well, maybe he learns like to be a little more like not look at things as so black and white. I don't, right. I don't know. Like that would be, I would assume. His uh, life, maybe uh, his apprentice dies, and like that's a big turning point. Oh yeah, what is her name? Jackie. Uh, Jackie. Jackie. Yep, Jackie. Yeah, she, she's yeah. okay. Uh, but like that's uh, also, she undermines him a lot, which is sort of weird. But they also didn't uh, make a big point in the last episode about her growing relationship with Osha. Oh yeah, that that one that scene. Weird. That one scene where she's like, "You're gonna miss me." Wink, wink, nod, nod. Like so, yeah. maybe we scissored off screen. Did you did you did you like it when when I think like Yord pulled out Kalnaka's Grundle I leather? Don't, I don't he, like it when Yord pulls he, anything he, out. Yord, Yord pulled out like a piece of leather that used to cover <laughs> Kalanaka's ball sack. Right, all right, all right. And he's like, sniff this, Basil. And, and, and then they all laughed at him. Hey, and then Basil's like, ah, hey, what is that? Basil <laughs> exposition. I guess Basil exposition is, because he's a tracker. But he doesn't speak English, which is very he's, unfortunate for... He's the worst tracker in history. Because like Yord has like the best line ever when he's got like, a, a tracker to, for the tracker. Because apparently Basil keeps wandering off and not... <laughs> Right. For it's no like, reason whatsoever. He's like a mad scientist. But he's got like, armor on, he's got clothing, he seems, to speak, he, he seems to speak to people, so <laughs> yeah. why is he just like a wild animal? Why, why did they hire a wild animal? <laughs> they got a gopher. Like, where did they pay him? <laughs> yeah. Who, like, like, is he a Jedi? I don't know. I, nobody knows. He's just there to be cute and to be funny. That's all it is. It, it, logically, it doesn't make sense that the Jedi need a tracker at all to find Kaunaka. Right. I think that's dumb. Because Kaunaka's not... Is he supposed to be in hiding? They did say he's on the, re- the what he's, do they call it? He's, the on like, moon he's on like a re- Kofa he's like, or something like that. It's like a recreation. He's like he's like chilling. I feel like he he's would, just off he the should grid. have a cell phone at least, right? You'd like, think, you would be, think there'd be some way to contact. There's him. some way, like it, at worst case scenario, he has like a beacon that, what? like, if this thing see, goes off, see, right? Okay, so these are the little tweaks you can make into the show. Yeah, where maybe the first two Jedi on the list are now dead, <laughs> and now there's a connection. Kaunaka does go into hiding and says, maybe you'll be safe here. Yeah. Don't, don't tell any of us where you're going to be because we don't know who the leak is. Mm-hmm. We don't know how they're killing you. You know, that, and that's a reason for him to be, like, unfindable. Because right. one well, of them goes into hiding, you know. But here, I don't even know why. It, it, so, but. so, like, at this point, by episode five, we've had three Jedi deaths. Uh, and Dara, who was, like, kind of hanging out with, like, a cantina, four thugs, whatever have you. We'll never know what that is, right? That, that who are those people? Right. <laughs> Why was she with them? Turbin, those ruffians. Turban is apparently taking a ten-year vow of silence, which is six years after, because like the events of like the flashback was sixteen years ago. Yeah, he unalived himself. Uh, six years. Yeah. So like he, the events happen of the flashback. Six years later, he takes a ten-year vow of silence. And then commit suicide. Did you hear the... So somebody had a theory, and I actually kind of liked it, because it at least gave the unaliving <laughs> at least some sort of thing. 
Uh, somebody said maybe, it might have been Game FAQs or Reddit or whatever. Somebody said, uh, uh, one of the witches, probably Darth Maul Lady, uh, is going to use that mind control power they used on him I, first. Yeah, I have seen and that. He's gonna yeah. do, and he's, he's going to end up either slaughtering the witches and that's or the whatever. And that's why he has guilt. And I'm like, okay, that that is good motivation. Right. At the same time, though, why all it doesn't fix of why didn't he just do it when May first showed up. Well, why or, did we need a scene of her trying to karate chop through a force field or, only to go get poison, only to come back? Or why did he do it just right out the gate? Why do you even yeah, wait to see well, May? Well, he, he's like, I, I've been waiting for you, May. So like, he knows May's alive? <sighs> This is goes. We don't know yet. We don't right, know all the details yet. This also goes into the like. Soul didn't know May was alive. Yeah, Soul. Soul was pretty. I saw her die. Right. He says that. He's adamant about it. <laughs> even he, though, he, even though it turned into one of those. I saw her go into a building, and the building erupted. Right. And, and so, like, if Torben was adamant that she is alive, and like, so are none of these four people ever talking to each? Like, did they take like a? No. Is this like that weird like we didn't we will never speak to each other again kind of a thing? And were none of these other? If, I, I don't know how bad things got on that planet, but like, didn't were any of those other three worried that Torben? Would do something right. Like if he was in a, if he was in like such a depression for ten years, mm -hmm. why aren't any of these people that like? Or, we should probably keep an eye on him. Who was who he a Padawan for specifically? Count Echo? Uh, Indara. Oh, Indara. He's the only Padawan. So like, why wasn't Indara? The other three were masters. So why was, yeah. did Indara not like him? Like he's. I don't she know. apparently becomes like a. Yeah. So you know, Indara, if if, if, if your Padawan went into a hor did something horrible and. Had like horrible like survivor's guilt or whatever. Keep an eye on the motherfucker. Well, keep an eye or maybe like, right. Not just leave him in a temple to be in constant meditation. I don't and know. And on a weird remote temple, like, like keep him on Coruscant. Okay. Now, what about the killing with no weapons? Have we figured out any what that, what that means at all? Do we know what that means? An acolyte kills the dream. I don't know what that means. <laughs> An acolyte doesn't kill with a weapon because lasers or steel cannot kill Jedi. But then we saw lasers and steel kill Jedi. So somebody should tell Palpatine that. Here's the thing you do when you write: you like to <laughs> think of things that you. Ooh, that sounds cool. I'm gonna write that down. Right. <laughs> what does it mean, though? I, I don't know. I don't know. I'll, <laughs> I'll figure out when I write the scene. And a good writer works that 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 cool okay. kernel they had. Like I have this cool, really cool scene in my head. Right. Right. Uh, like, George R. R. Martin had that really cool scene where, like, Viserys gets the crown of yeah. gold. Okay, I'm going to get to that somehow. You work it to make logical sense, like the Red Wedding, or uh, think of, like, Breaking Bad, like, when um, Just Hank isn't... sees, like, Walt Whitman's book. Like, that, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He has that moment of realization that, wait, WW, like, you know. Yeah, or like, Crawl Space, or, like, right. you just... Oh, how great would it be to see Walt like just laughing hysterically under like you going have crazy? Because this is the thing about as a writer is you picture scenes first, and then you have to extrapolate yourself to get to that scene. Like you have to like your mental vision is scene A, scene B, C, D, whatever. How do I get to that scene? Like different things in that nature. Like picture uh, picture Tolkien with like the Mount Doom. Or stores where, like, uh, finally Vader does turn to the dark side, or when Vader finally turns back to the light side. It's like a cool scene. You picture that scene in your head first as a writer, and then as a writer, you write to that scene. Well, you I, have to make it logical to get to that scene. Not and everyone I, writes that way, though. Some people do go scene to scene to scene. Like, maybe, yeah. I, I, but like, the, but like, if you are one of those, and I feel like this is a case where like they found the cool scene in their head. Oh, yeah. And they wanted to make that scene happen, irregardless of writing to get to that scene. Well, I was gonna say, so, somebody, somebody intentionally killed <laughs> for like years and years of suffering through guilt. That, that sounds good on paper. It's a trope. And almost. it's like, oh, I've been waiting for you and now I'm gonna <laughs> right. do it. Um, but the way it was executed is just fucking horrible. Like, well, it made it, no sense. It's executed poorly because, firstly, you show a flashback being 16 years earlier. You mentioned that he was only doing this for 10 years. And we don't know anything about Torben. And Even in the flashback, right. we don't know anything about him. Like, and no like no lines. <coughs> Torben's first episode is literally just five scenes of him, like, kill himself. All, all, all he says is, I've been waiting for you, May. I'm sorry. I thought we were doing good. And then he dies. So then, that also makes it seem like he thought 
Like, I, I don't know anything about him. Right. Exactly. <laughs> like, it's, but then his flashback, he didn't do anything. He just stood there. He got mind controlled for a second. Right. And it's like, okay, well... <sighs> well, and here's why, like, so we've talked about this a little bit off camera, and as a writer myself, one of the, like, I am not a fan of false narrators. Yeah. And I'm not saying it can't be done well, because it can be. This is not done well. Because, firstly, if you're going to do a false narrator, you have to establish that it is already from one narrator point of view. So what do you do? I'm into, uh, well, murders and executions, mostly. Episode 1 and 2 is, uh, is third point of view, which is all Star Wars is. Th Star Wars is always third point of view. Right. Episode 3 seems like it's third point of view, but apparently, by the end of it, we we have to extrapolate that. Like we have to extrapolate. We have is it to extrapolate or extrapolate? I have no. Because you said I said, you said both. it both now. I said it both because I don't know, <laughs> and I want to just cover my bases. Okay. <coughs> I'll, I'll have to edit your. Uh... You just put in the right one. The Millennium Falcon went to the Death Star now. I was like, with my with my editing with my editing, I can make you sound. Immaculate. <laughs> uh, but like, so you have to, you have to establish that like, like, this might not be a reliable narrator. And episode three does not do that until the ending, and then you're kind of like, do is we, that really like? Because here's the thing: do we have any way, any reason to think it's unreliable narrator right. narrator yet? That's the thing. Like, we all just have like, even after episode four, we have just this general theory like. There's got to be more to this. Story, well, at the end right? of at the end of episode three, when Osha and May see each other after like a weird fire afterwards, they're like, yeah. "What did you do?" Right. And the other one goes, "What did you do?" And then what? the and then me goes, "What did what did what happen? Do? What happened? I don't even know." Right. So like by the end of even episode four, we're not given enough information to like it'll all pay <coughs> off, Ben. Eventually. Maybe my, tonight. I don't even my know. My guess is episode six will be May's point of view. Episode eight will be like a weird hybrid current line and flashback of Soul. And Soul will have the definitive point of view. Oh my God. And even then, it's dumb because, like, who's to say Soul's point of view is the definitive? You know what? And that's why, like, false narrators annoy me because. Who's to say Osha's point of view is is definitive? Who's to say May's point of view is definitive? Who's to say Soul's point well, of view? Say, would you call any of them though the narrator point right. of view though? The, it's, the, they're trying to do that, but right, and that's like Star Wars as a whole has always been third point of view. Well, so it's like a camera that's been outside the realm watching the events. So uh, there is a great little uh, <coughs> mini series on HBO uh, quite a while back. I think it was called The Night of. Um, is this the the Brian Cranston one? No. Where he's the judge? No, that's called the judge. <laughs> oh. That's an okay series too. Uh. But, uh, no, uh, the night of it actually had John Turturro as one of the main leads, and is that uh, Luigi? John Turturro was uh, a Jesus from Big Lebowski. Oh, you're, all right, you're all talking right. about John Leguizamo. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Anyway. Um, but uh, so the opening scene, and the the main star in it is this um, uh, Pakistani fella, and yeah. uh, the opening like the opening episode, the whole thing is a court drama. It's eight episodes. Okay. But the main thing is like this kid wants to go out. It's in New York. Takes place in New York, and um, he ends up. I forget he, uh, the people that were going to pick him up to go to this party can't get him for some reason, or they're not going to go anymore. But he wants to go to this party, and his dad like goes to bed or something, and so the kid steals his dad's cab. So he's like high school. He's high school or early twenties or whatever. Okay. But he steals his dad's cab when he's like asleep. Yeah. And uh, he, he, when he's trying to figure out a way to get to this party, he pulls over and this lady like gets in, thinking he's a cab, right? Because right. he forgot to turn off the one light or whatever. Okay. And uh, she's like, "Just get me out of here, whatever." It turns out like they end up spending the night together, and they go back to her place. You know, they do, one is one they do some there. drugs. <laughs> he wakes up. He wakes, he wakes up the next morning. Next, well, early, early morning, like three, four in the morning, yeah. she's stabbed to death, and he's like, he's passed out in her like kitchen, uh, and he goes upstairs into the bedroom, and she's like been murdered. Yeah. And he panics. He runs outside, closes the door, locks himself out, tries to get out of the cab. Finally, his keys are like in the 
house still. Yeah, he locked himself. So he has to break out. a window, crawl back in to get his keys, and he runs out. And a couple neighbors hear the glass. Uh, so anyway, he gets caught like immediately. Yeah. Um, John Link, uh, John Link, he got, he was, <laughs> John Totoro, who uh, does an amazing job, uh, at, basically becomes his defense attorney, okay. and the whole thing is this massive case on whether or not he did it or not. And as the audience, we don't really know. Okay. We aren't given that information on whether or not right. he it, did do it or didn't do it. Mm-hmm. But as the case grows and grows, we start being fed more information about his character. And, like, like it turns out, oh, he has, like, actually a lot of anger issues against... Uh-huh. Uh, it, but growing up, he had to deal with a lot of racism af- after, like, 9-11 and that sort of thing. Pakistani. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It, like, it, it goes in this whole thing. and It all builds up to a pretty cool climax of whether or not he's innocent or guilty in the courtroom. It's a great series. Everyone should watch it. It's kind of old now, but it was, it was fucking... That's a good, like... Fi- like I don't know if you call that unfaithful narrator, but you don't. The audience doesn't really know what's happening, despite. We're now gonna watch the <laughs> night of. Thanks for joining. All right, that was that the, was the night. That was the acolyte night, everyone. We're gonna. For <laughs> <laughs> that was a great like. And we just segue. We don't even watch stores. We <laughs> it just goes straight to. All right, we're gonna watch this eight episode uh, courtroom drama now. Is it like an hour each episode? Uh, I think so. It's very very good. It's, it's, it's excellent. And it's just one season? Yeah, it's just one. Right, it's open so and shut. It's worth watching then. Yeah, yeah absolutely. W- w- would recommend. What are the um, other shows you would watch rather than The Acolyte? Oh my God. The Dahmer Show? <laughs> <laughs> I'd watch television. And I've already seen The Dahmer Show. I'd, I'd, watch, it, I'd watch The Dahmer Show <coughs> again. <laughs> for this. Have you seen Daniel Tiger? Well, do we have, tubbies, okay. everybody. Do we have anything else to add? In this, I before have, we I press have, play, I, I hate my life. I have nothing else to add. To go. I mean, Star Wars has drained me of all my love and master. This whole life. thing was your idea. You're why we're doing. I would not be watching the show if you weren't. If you hadn't contacted me and said, "Do you want to record this thing?" I would not be. I I can say definitively that I would not be that watching this if we weren't recording this. I can. Lie. No, you. I, I didn't I, even I, watch. I, I, Tristan, no arms, sir. I didn't even watch Andor because I was like, I think I'm done. Until so you guys eventually. I said told you, you guys Endor was amazing. But if but I wouldn't Endor have watched this, nobody would have been like, "You need to watch the Acolyte." No, nobody would have been no. saying that. You actually messaged me though and said, "Remember how we hate it? We hate watch Ahsoka." <laughs> no, you were the one that said we have to do the Acolyte. Oh God! You, I got the I got the timestamps. <laughs> Call up the text messages. All right. Well, we're we, okay. So we've been ranting for thirty minutes now. So oh we, we have to watch this thing. It's, no. Luckily, it's not too long. <laughs> it's only 23 minutes be after over. <laughs> credits. It's like ripping off a Band-Aid. Just get it over with. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Night! In a dense jungle, <laughs> the Jedi are put to the test when they confront a rising darkness. The uh, the the, the what if, promo line alone is just bad. Because like, if you would just read the promo lines going down. They start in episode 3. On a mysterious planet, the tragic journey of two sisters begin. Racing to the next target, the Jedi head to a new world as they close in on the clever assassin. There's nothing in clever a, about what she does. In a dense jungle, There's the Jedi clever. are put to the test when they confront a rising darkness. How many quotes can you put around the word clever? Right, like, like none <laughs> of this. Like, if you would just read this shit, these fucking shit lines down. This is like the way that like Walmart would advertise underwear to you. Rising Darkness would be a, a good name for like a porn star. Oh, dude! Like if I had a fucking nine incher. Rising. Like darkness. I'm doing <laughs> Rising Darkness. If I was a black man. <laughs> <laughs> like you want some BBC? <laughs> you're getting the Rising. The Rising Darkness, darkness is is. <laughs> we're trademarking Rising Darkness, <laughs> yeah. even though none of us. <laughs> <laughs> you can be the. You can be the cuckold, clever assassin, and I'll be the BBC <laughs> rising oh, darkness. Look at uh, the thumbnail. It's like Saul. He's doing something with a lightsaber. Well, <laughs> look at the thumbnail above it. It's like a Lord of the Rings trek. It's a terror. That's why I, I said that in my watch through. I was like, at one point, it just cut till I was like, oh, we're in Lord of the Rings all of a sudden. We're just walking. <laughs> it's, it's a trail of tears being led by a gopher. <laughs> by a gopher. Like, and not one of them is as not one of them is like, why are we following this fucking gopher? Like, what the fuck? Is this Star Wars? Is this for little kids? Ben, is this for little kids? People are being murdered, and then they throw a cartoon gopher at us. I don't know what the fuck. And then everyone's losing their shit over fucking K I D Monday. All right, I'm hitting play. 
<laughs> Kalaka. <laughs> there's like, there's the, the, the Grundle claw. There's a, there's a, oh, Gopher even takes it from him. And Gophers like, aren't even known for their sense. I don't even. Well, what is that? Why wouldn't they have a bloodhound? <coughs> we don't want to know what lives out here. This is the moment after they killed the random. Uh, it's a th remember, and then they looked at the camera and said, "It's attracted to the light." Yeah. So that's gonna definitely play into tonight's episode. They, they didn't think the audience was smart enough to know no. what that meant. No, they know better. They're yeah. like, "We better tell them what happened." This is this is also God. We didn't even get to talk about Kaunaka and how stupid that all shit is. She doesn't react at all to that life nope. saving. Nope. Nope. It's like she. It's like the actor didn't know that that was what was happening. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. Cause this CGI. Yeah. They they put it in after the fact, so the actress didn't know that that's what mm -hmm. was happening. God, I hate Star Wars. It was my one true love in life. So she got flung, right? That was Osha? Yeah. Osha's wearing the white, so and she... May's wearing the black. Oh, the red shirt's already gone? We're not even getting the lightsaber battle? I, dude, that's messed up. <laughs> We're not even going to see what happened? No way. No, no, they're, not, they're not even going to let us know what happened? How come nobody can hit him? Right. There's 20 of you. There's like at least three There's or four really on him right now. There's 20 of you. Look, oh, it's, they're, doing that thing where they all, they're doing that thing where they all take turns. Oh, that one just got stabbed. At least when Palpatine did this, he like attacked them really quickly in like a crowded office. Oh, did, Whoa! Did, did, so the helmet's lightsaber oh, proof? And you're apparently... What? Oh, he disabled their lightsabers. Uh, Wait, I thought he was... Oh, suck it, Yor! Oh, no, he's gonna lose the leg. But their lightsabers came so he can only momentarily... Well, I, th I think he like hit him. Oh, oh. Oh, oh wow. I'm, I'm glad we're getting to finally see people die from lightsabers. I'm not gonna lie, that, that's sort of cool. That's sort of neat. Yeah, yeah, but, but yeah, you're gonna totally just shoot them. It's sort of neat, but it's one of those things where it's like those, they were all just taking their turns to die. Like it's yeah, they they never really do three or four on ones very well because so he's just immune to all damage. The the, the lightsabers bounced right off that helmet. Right. Like what is that helmet? Run. Oh my god, it's it's like it follows. Like, is she, okay, is she gonna use that flashlight for the moths? Yeah. Is is that what's happening? No. Oh. Dodge roll. Why didn't she just go left? It's like the Ryan Wait, Coyote thing. How did he get over there? Why was Soul over there? I. Like, how did Soul go, go way far away from the group? Why was he letting the group all die? <laughs> right. Right, because they're far away now. But we need a cool scene of, like, trees slowly. We need a spe we specifically need to see Saul versus Smilo. Yeah, and we also need that cool scene of the trees slowly falling. Oh, look, falling. look, the three people we said wouldn't die are now not dead. And it's, like, two seconds into it. Yeah. Well, I knew the red shirts were going to die quickly. I didn't think it was going to be, like, immediate. They, no. We could have at least gotten a cool duel. Like, that was, like, 80 people died in, like, five seconds. How do we feel about the helmet? Is it, it's okay, right? It's, it's an okay helmet. It's, like, cool a horror it. movie. But, like, this feels like it's a mystery. Oh. Don't give me like cool music now. Oh, Basil! Basil's still, still Basil. running. A, wait, does he not know nobody's following him? Yord is. Wait, wait, Yord we, couldn't follow him earlier. Is Yord like we gotta get the fuck out of here? <laughs> Basil, show me the way out. He just keeps taking him back to Kalnaka's corpse. Cause that's all it's, he's got on him. <laughs> no, we need to get away from here, Basil. Damn it! I love the idea that like they couldn't find Basil earlier. But now that they're running away, Basil is How does found. Basil get away when he's just, like, stubbly? <laughs> like, he doesn't even move very fast. How do you let him get away? It's just... I like oh, the, wait, 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 wait. The What's closed happening? caption is just stranger. Don't remember me. Why would you even say you don't, set, like, remember me when well, you keep your helmet that, on? That basically says it's one of the witches, then. Witches or, I guess, Kamir? Because, I mean, they did un meet. Un unless Kamir fucking... He's like taunting They just them. met like yesterday. That, that's mean, not something you don't remember me would not be something you'd say to somebody you met yesterday. But he's wearing <laughs> a helmet though. I know, but you wouldn't say like you would say something that, that would be like something you say after ten years. Yeah, not, not, I know. I not know. Not yesterday. It's, yeah. If it's Kamir, that's really dumb. So whatever Kaunaka's <laughs> Kaunaka's Oh! What was that? The the Padawan. Oh that's, okay, wait, that's May. Okay, I got you. Well, why weren't you in the fight? She defeated Indara. How is she being bested by a Padawan? You know, it, so did they just send the Padawan to find I her? Think she, I, th I think the Padawan's acting on her own volition here. But like, did they not know that the, they were fighting a, a Sith? 
Oh, that's right. She was there when the Sith dropped. Right. Like she got. Yeah, why isn't she? Yeah. Why? She's one of the people that was forced pushed. Mm -hmm. Why did she walk? A, so why did her and Saul just go off and do their own thing all of a sudden? They were pushed in different directions, I guess. Because eight, eight Jedi were fighting. I was like, oh, they probably got that guy. Right. Well, I'll go. <laughs> Show your face. Oh, here we go. Let you read my thoughts. Oh, so it's a Magneto mask. No, no. Wait. Will a Jedi be able to read a Sith's uh, well, thoughts? So, wait, the, the, his face from his pupil. so the, the helmet specifically is there to block you thoughts? So it's, yeah. it's the Magneto helmet to stop Xavier. Oh, there's like that weird, like that cool little, oh, you are what you think you're not. You're not really a teacher. Yeah. I hate the cutaways <laughs> on the Yorn Yor just ran away, basically. Yeah, He's yeah, like, I'm Yor's not, like, I don't like, want to die. <laughs> See all those red shirts? They're, they're <laughs> long gone. <laughs> they're all good. Least, I have a name tag, but that doesn't mean I'm safe. You don't see me in a movie. <laughs> he knows. He knows. We're never getting the Yord series, <laughs> yeah. are we? <laughs> yeah. There's no Yord bridge so movie. So wait, they're now establishing that there is a special helmet that you can wear to block force powers? Uh, yeah. Like what? <laughs> like, what is that helmet, then? Why don't they have that in the future? Palpatine didn't need the helmet. I'll put that, that seems away like evidence. That's the, that sounds like a setup to me. That's a lot of evidence in my defense. Oh, come on, kill her! Wait, wait, no, what? No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. She stands up to him. Yeah, how, how, how can she even stand a chance against? Yeah. He he effortlessly defeated four or five on one. Right. Oh, he's gonna kill her without a weapon? Yeah. If they kill her off, that'd be pretty wild. Wait, he's using a weapon. What? What was that? He's somehow like... He just like uses his hand and... Right, his, he has metal that deactivates a lightsaber. Oh, that... He's got a wristband? Oh, Kaunaka's blade. Set up. Told you. I was like... I didn't realize the payoff was going to happen five seconds later. But... <laughs> oh, here's Kaunaka's saber. Oh, I'm going to use it. <laughs> oh, and the way she was... I cannot believe that Padawan is, is sparring with right. Darth Teeth. I mean, even with two blades, it shouldn't matter. I also just like May is like, yeah, that's my master. I'm bitching out. Where's Yord? What? Why is nobody helping her? Where's what happened how, to Saul? Where did Saul? How are you also able to what? like? Why would he leave? Why would he not just kill you? Where is Saul? Where did what happened to Saul, Ben? There is some of the stuff that I'm just like, oh, they're using the lightsabers as light. Okay, the mods are coming. Yeah, they're definitely doing something with the mods. Oh, she's gonna say it. Never mind. Do it. Got it. <laughs> yep, the light attracts them, yep. Here it comes. Are they going to trick Darth Maul into pulling... <laughs> that's going to be what it is. That's pulling out his lightsaber. That's and, their escape. Okay, and then they swarm him. Mm. I said that beforehand. I'm like, why else would you have that moth scene in the last Yeah. Episode? Okay, so literally just trying to decapitate her right there. Yep. Forget me. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it is Kimura. Maybe they're not even going to, like... No way. That's Kimura. That's so stupid. Oh, here come the moths. Follow me. Wait, you said turn off the light. Why does she have a flashlight? I, I think she's trying to do a setup. Okay, I'll cut that out, thanks. That makes me look stupid. <laughs> okay, I, I would do my best to not have to punch that metal helmet. Right. Like, <laughs> I don't think that would do anything. If a lightsaber refracts right off of it, I don't think punching it's going to do anything. She, she just... Oh, oh, oh what? Oh, but... Whoa, what? whoa, 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 what's happening? But Oh, no! Oh, they did kill her! They killed her. That's pretty cool. But yet, they still don't show the face. Yeah, oh, it's come here. No. Are you fucking with me right now? It was the point... <laughs> no. He's like, you remember me from like two days ago? No. Hey. <laughs> no. That was so obvious then. They set out all those like clearly obvious like things. Right. So wait, why? He was captured. Yeah. The Jedi let him off with a warning. They, 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 they slapped him on the wrist for giving an assassin poison. What the f The dude is jacked though. Like, Jesus. The dude from fucking uh, the why good is place he, is Jack. Why is he so absurdly powerful, Ben? You attack me. He's kind of young, oh right? God. Yeah, he's like 25. He's like, he's like f right out of community college. <laughs> Man, right. like 
That man went to hack for four years with a philosophy degree. Why can't this? And he hates this guy's society. Been a, he's been a Jedi for like 30, 40 years, and he can't beat this guy. He's just gonna submit. Like uh, he, he apparently negotiates with terrorism. Well, he wants to say me, I guess. You. But we don't know. We don't know anything about you. I we don't know. Want a pupil. Why is he evil? Right. Did he say that? Light. I guess just because he says this one. Wait, how is he blocking the lightsaber? He's got a thing on his wrist, right? You. Surprise. What do you mean you? We, right. we don't know anything oh, about you. Oh, oh! Oh, fuck the neck crank! The No Mercy N64 neck crank of Legitimately, doom. legitimately shocked that that happened. <laughs> I, I do, I will give it that. I did love that shit. Wow, that was Fucking good. Fucking A, your tits. Why? 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 That's sad. Oh man. Oh, you just took it. Legitimately. Oh my god. What is? This? I'm feeling uh, an emotion. So was gonna go dark side. Ben, here. I'm Ben. I have an emotion. <laughs> um. Yeah. You remember feelings? I'm still a little confused about his power level. Like, I, yeah, so, I still why don't... is he so fucking powerful? Like, what is he doing? Is this a rule of two thing? Is this? I'm assuming he's Sith, but like, I don't know. Because he does say that like, the Jedi who know me have to die. So that makes me think he's Sith, but like, I feel like they just don't want to call it Sith. So why did he fall for that weird tra right. Ewok trap? He could have... <laughs> like, he didn't want to reveal himself then? He wanted to reveal himself five right. minutes later? So can legit kill her. This twisted my darkness. I've accepted. Just if only, if, if only. Was, what have you done? I would feel like if I'm a Jedi at this point and he is a legit Sith, you just fucking no. decapitate, right? Ben, this is really fucking stupid because he needs that helmet to prevent them from reading his mind. Oh, here comes the moth. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he's gonna fight the moths now. Wait, can't he just use a force push and just obliterate he them? He literally pushed 18 Jedi away. Wait, what? What? No. This They're literally him. gonna carry him away and eat him. Why did he say well, that? Well, they're, they're not even Soul? trying to run. Get out of there, maybe. And that's the end that's, of that chapter. They're just talking. What the fuck is happening? They literally just like... Watched him go away. Like, all right. It's been a thousand years since we've seen the Sith, and <laughs> that's the end of that chapter. Oh, that's horrible! Wait, what? What? May. May. Oh God. May's now gonna do a heel turn. No, May is a bad guy again. It's like wrestling. It's like legitimate. Why is she so? Every other day, face heel, face heel. Oh, I love man. it. They killed. They killed Jackie and you. Oh right? my God. Kaunaka and your Kaunaka. Well, your you know Kaunaka is the biggest loss. But <laughs> this man, what? Right? I am so confused. <laughs> <laughs> they literally just saw him get carried away by Maws, and then they just went back. I mean, back. that I'm was so the sorry. end of that chapter. That's the end of that chapter. <laughs> that is so awkward. <laughs> that was so fucking awkward. <laughs> Where we come from? She so she's saying. I remember you, you said you were going to kill... She did say I'm going to kill you and then burn her room down. <laughs> right. that, I mean, did, that did happen. I mean, if my sister came to me and was like, bitch, I'm burning you alive. She said I'm going to kill you and then burn the book and lit a fire. <laughs> yeah. That, that happened. That's the real thing. To yourself. I can help you return to yourself. What I came here to do. How many times has somebody given her her Miranda rights now? <laughs> I feel like, I mean, it was like the you third time. To You're under the arrest for the... Master. So did you. I cannot effing believe that Kimar was the Sith. Family? I, I can't. He, I, you know he was just sleeping like a dullard in his little potion shop earlier. Because he knew did, no one could fuck with him. Did he own that shop? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Like, he, he has a lease on that place? Or? I think, like, like, this is, like, taking that, like, hiding in plain sight to, like, the maximum level. He's still alive. Oh, she's going to cut off her braids. Oh, she's going to protect... <laughs> <laughs> Now, Ben. Now, Ben. 
Now I am <laughs> occupational safety hazard organization. I <laughs> now I am the ocean. Ah, Basil! He's Thank God for some levity. Right. Oh, he's still got, he's, he's still, still got, he's still looking for Count Nacca. <laughs> yeah. Nobody told him right. he died. Oh, yep, there we go. Oh God. That's Saul, right? Okay. Uh, Saul. I I did I did want to say I did call right? this. May turns good and Osha turns bad, like a, a phase two turn at the same time. Why is Osha turning bad? We Just because it'd be a cool here. thing to do, you know what I mean? Is that what happened? And that was Star Wars, everyone! Ben, I, I cannot believe that they aren't even attempting to find the body of Well, here's of the thing, Drew, Drew, Drew. Like, you wouldn't want closure on that. Drew. That might be a fucking Sith. I, you I, know, what is, Drew. True. You cannot just accept that he's just gone, right? Drew, like you're not looking at this from a logical point of view. There's, was, for God's sake, it was only like five Drew. months. Drew, it was only five of them. Drew, like, Basil you... lived. Thank God Basil didn't get his neck cranked. <laughs> his little exposition is still alive. They should have. He should have. We still have four. Like this still like three that, more episodes. Is that Kemer? Oh, the moths didn't kill him. Uh, what is? Yep. You can buy that helmet now. It's like, they're already selling it at Ollie's. <laughs> like, because nobody wants it. <laughs> I love the fact it's that he says it's already at Ollie's. Here we are. No! I don't know anything about you, bro. You're like, I know I know you were, you were a buffoon You're that ran a You're not that stuff. extraordinary. Wait, what happened to the mods? Uh, Earl, before I picked you up, um... Uh, I know I, I didn't know Critical Drinker posted a video that said this is the least bad episode. Okay. And I guess I I guess I I can agree with that. I think I would agree with that, but there's still bad stuff in here. Oh, it's bad. Yeah, it's bad. But um, I mean, here's the thing, right? All right, I shit in your face for four days straight. <laughs> right, like, and then the fifth day, you just fart in it. Right. And it's like, oh. fifth day, you're like, hey, it was a fart. You know what? Shit. It smells, but at least it didn't squirt. <laughs> you know, so it's fine. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, yeah, leaving, uh, just accepting that the Sith is now dead, guy, the guy is gone because the moths carried him off is ludicrously stupid, especially because Saul himself dispatched one of those moths effortlessly. I, it did not pose any bit of a threat. You witnessed the guy literally finger flick one chick away and then force push yeah. ten of you away. The man, the man who killed a moth effortlessly <laughs> was able to flick you away like a bug. Right. So like why treated, would I think for a second that right. he is going to be taken yeah. out by said bugs? Makes, you treat the bug like a bug. Yeah. And then that guy treated you like a bug. Yeah, it's just it's power level. I um, will say at least a show did pull no punches. Like, your died, Jackie died. Yeah, I, uh, that stuff was good. Not because just, oh my god, they died. But, like, it, it sort of comes out of nowhere and it was a little emotional. Yeah. Uh, I'm not... A fan of, uh, I I think it could use a little bit of rewriting, like maybe Yord coming to Yeki's defense, because yeah. Yeki fighting evenly with this guy doesn't make any sense. Especially to me, because but... like Jackie is like his Padawan, I believe. Well, that's what I'm saying. It, it might be like, more tragic if Yord's Padawan, right? Yeah, yeah. So like, did Yord watch her die and then he died, or I think that's when he. I think when she gets stabbed through, is when Yord runs in. Yeah, like they, they could have easily done like sort of a uh, a Qui Gon Obi Wan situation, like yeah. the mall. You know what I mean? Like they, they like when they were fighting him evenly, I, and the choreography was done mostly well. I will say. Yeah, no, no, no qualms with the choreography. No qualms with like just the style of I the episode. I don't like that. Like there was constant lightsaber malfunctions. I mean, it's well, one of those. It's I mean, one of those I, stupid I, things you gotta do when it's like a five on one, right. six on one. But at least establish but, why it's done. Maybe like because we don't know how he did it. I thought he, I thought he had like hit him with the saber and like knocked it out. Sort of like when like he Obi -Wan, cut the blade. when Obi Wan cut the blade, but then right. they come back on again. So it's right. sort of like wait, so how did like that, that happen? Like 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 you said, if it's established and shown why the blades well, shut off. So we, we we have two things here too. Uh, he, he's got a wristband that apparently just. I think that blocks was what it was. lightsabers. And it could also... It just disables them if he hits right. them off. Because he, he literally just hit lightsaber blades and they like... Yeah, were... I don't know how that And his works. helmet apparently <coughs> protects him fully by lightsabers. And it is like the Magneto and Juggernaut helmet. It also prevents mind reading. Which... Also, That's what he said. He's like, why would I take this off? But it's also and... weird because like... And then like one... 
it calls into question, like, why didn't Soul mind be him? In episode two, when they literally have him in his potion shop, right. there is all three of them. They're questioning right. him. No, not one person reads his mind. When he j he mm. himself already stated, like, you, I need this helmet, so you can't read my mind. Secondly, uh, that's that makes episode two even worse now. Episode second, two is really right. bad. Secondly, now. it also makes the force stupid. Like yeah. in a weird way, like the force was never depicted as like, oh, I can just like Vader chokes Ozil via hologram. Yeah, and that's that's sort of like okay. Uh, but now, apparently, you can't choke through helmet. Like, if I were if Ozil was wearing that helmet, Vader would not be able to like get a, to him. Uh, like a throat guard. <laughs> Like, like, much, why not just wear, wear a whole like suit? Like a chain mail. Like, yeah, have a whole like suit. A, like, what yeah. is that metal? Is, is this something new? Or, right, like, that's the thing. Like, is it like that? Uh, what's the, the Mandalorian? Um, Beskar. Beskar, yeah. yeah. I don't think it's Beskar. Cause I don't, Beskar, you can force through, right? Uh, uh, force, I think, but not lightsaber. Because Luke beat all those Beskar robots, right? Right. Of, he had to just like cut. But, like, uh, but yeah. wasn't he using the force on those things? He force pushed. And, yeah. Were he, they made of Beskar? I don't think all of them were. I don't. I, fuck, oh, okay. Who fuck I don't it. It's Star Wars. Who fucking? Well, I'm saying. I, I actually am. Sorry. Moffs apparently can kill Sith. I'm fine with this, but I just want to know what where it is. I don't want it to not be referenced. Like, what is this magic helmet that, like, literally is force immune? I I know? am. I I will say I am surprised we got the reveal of who he is now. I thought for. A, I, mean, I guess maybe this could still be a reveal at some point, but I thought like. Maybe it'd be interesting if, like, they did a Scream thing where there's, like, two... two it turns out, like, the twist in Scream is there's two killers. Uh, so it's like, oh, I thought... Oh, maybe, okay. maybe, maybe it turns out there's somebody else also donning that outfit, Like, maybe you know? Master... Like, our uh, Mother Curl is also doing it? Um, Baba Booey. You keep saying that. I don't know what it means. Star Wars, everyone. It's, it's a thing. <laughs> We're not going to do this for a skeleton crew. We're gonna do this for every We're not gonna do this. every piece of Star Wars. <laughs> I'm gonna be 96 on my deathbed. Can we? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. One, one more thing. Is this gonna be like one of those shows that gets a season two because like 95 percent of the people are hate watching it? This has already been signed on for three seasons. Like, it's like Velma season. Like <laughs> Velma season two only happened because everyone hate watched it. God. <laughs> Nobody liked Velma. They're like, here's season two. And then they're like, wait, why is nobody watching? Oh, God. All right, okay, that's it. We're dying. Stop it, stop it, stop the press. Stop the mess.